well with it being Masters Week, I think it only appropriate that we talk about golf as it's profoundly embedded into the public conscience. I mean, you gotta be tough as a damn boot to win the green jacket. And Augusta National, while beautiful, presents us with a profound paradox, a world where paradise and hardship coexist. Quite symbolic of chaos and order, you know? People often refer to it as a heaven and earth, a garden of Eden, if you will. And just like the Garden of Eden, it contains its own serpent. And I'm not talking about Patrick Reed. I'm talking about the unforgiving layout of Amen Corner. That's tough, man. Well, maybe you choose the wrong club or you, you don't commit to a shot. And as a consequence of your actions, you end up in the depths of existential dread, the bottom of Ray's Creek. Now that's hell, man. And I've seen a lot of disaffected young men tyrannized by that shot on 12. I mean, look at Spieth, well, God, I'd love to see Rory win. Well, because if you don't win the Masters, you end up bitter and resentful. I mean, look at Norman, that's been a bloody catastrophe. It's not just a damn competition. You know, it's a testament to the beauty and the complexity of the human spirit. I mean, look at the redemptive story of Tiger Woods. I mean, that was a bloody miracle. You know, his journey embodies the essence of the biblical redemption story, much like the parable of the prodigal son. Now, there are people out there that will say, I don't care about golf. And you could say that with perfect utility. What's an appropriate response to that? Go to hell, man! God! Got me again? It's overwhelming, man. God, I love the Masters.